Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about phenylketonuria. It is caused by an autosomal recessive mutation in the enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase. This enzyme converts phenylalanine to tyrosine. However, in these patients, this enzyme is defective. So all left around phenylalanine will accumulate and will have little to no tyrosine. Now to have a little phenylalanine floating around is okay, but if you have too much, it can damage the neurons. And keep in mind they're also missing tyrosine with all its benefits. So because the neurons are damaged, these patients will have intellectual disability with seizures and the characteristic musty body odor. They will also have hypopigmentation of all pigmentation tissues, including the skin, the eyes, the hairs, and even the brain nuclei. All of these symptoms can be prevented if the medical treatment is initiated early, which is why you screen all newborns three days after they're born for PKU. The screening is done with mass spectrometry or quantitative amino acid analysis. Basically, we'll look for the excessive amount of phenylalanine. The treatment is simply giving the patient tyrosine and preventing them from eating anything that contains phenylalanine because we don't want this to accumulate. And here is a somewhat difficult quiz. Other than phenylalanine hydroxylase deficiency, which of the following conditions can also lead to phenylketonuria? And the answer is BH4 deficiency. BH4 is essential for the enzyme's function, so the patient can have normal enzyme, but deficiency of BH4 which results in deficiency of the function of the enzyme. Although phenylalanine hydroxylase is the most common cause of PKU, BH4 deficiency can also cause PKU. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helps.